This video is about my regular daily makeup look routine. Um, so yeah, it just looks like this. Pretty basic, pretty regular. If you're interested in seeing how I do it, keep watching. So the first thing I like to use is the Too Faced Hangover Primer. I like it because it's moisturizing. And I like to get it on my eyelids too because I think it can prime your eyeshadow as well. Then this is the foundation I've been using. I don't know if I like it that much, but I bought it and I want to use it up. Um, it has SPF in it, which is nice. I just, I just like to use my hand. I find sometimes I use beauty blenders too, but I just, I find that they start to smell bad after a while. I don't know. And then I, I don't really use concealer either. I just like to take. Oh, I put way too much on my hand. I just like to take a little bit extra foundation and pat it under my eyes and on like the outside of my eye because the outside of my eye gets really like red and like kind of weird. And then to set my foundation, I've just been using Rimmel Stay Matte in Creamy Natural. It's just another drugstore one and I think it does the job. The only thing I wanted to do is just hold my foundation in place. I always put it on top of my eyelid because I put foundation on my eyelids too and I don't like putting eyeshadow directly on foundation because I find that it's harder to blend. I like to put it around my nose, on my eyelids, and under my eyes, on the center of my forehead, and then also on like, like in this part of my cheek, like under where I'm going to put my bronzer. And then, I, this is my favorite bronzer, I've used it for I think like three years now, it's been my go-to. It's the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, so they have a milk chocolate one. Ooh, you hear me. Just, I love it, I've hit the, hit the pan. Oh, look, you can see my little setup here. Anyway, I always just do my bronzer next, and I put it in the hollows of my cheeks. And then also on my temples. And then I try to like, you know, blend them in here and on my forehead. And then the next thing I always do is my highlighter. Now, this is like a super fancy highlighter and it's only because my mom bought it a long time ago and didn't like it and so I took it. And it's, it's Dior Shimmer Powder in Diamond Ombre. And I use this fan brush. It's it cosmetics. Um, I don't know what kind it is. I don't know the number, but it's. I know it's a cosmetics, and it looks like this. And I just plop it in. So I do that there, and I do it like on my um, brow bone. And then I also do my nose, and then also like this part of my nose, and then on my cupid's bow. So my go-to eyeshadow color for as of late, like in the fall, has been from the subculture from the subculture palette. I've been using Edge, which is this sort of yellow ochre color. I use it because I think it it definitely looks you know like a fall color, but it's and it's kind of unique, but it's not like I don't think it looks crazy. They're really pigmented, as you can probably tell in the brush. So a little bit kind of goes a long way. And then I just start buffing it in. I just, I think it's really wearable and kind of funky. And then that's all I do for shadow. So then the next thing I do is I, is my mascara. I should have cleaned this off a little bit, but. I use two mascaras. This is the first one that I use. It's just the Colossal Volume Express by Maybelline. And I do a couple coats of this on, I only like to do mascara on my top lashes because I find that my eyes look smaller when I put it on my bottom lashes. And after I do this first coat, I want to let it dry before I put my second coat on so that that's, this is when I do my brows. I've still been using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Shape and Fill. I think it does a really good job. And I just start by tracing um, the bottom of my brow 
And then I, I really don't have a lot for eyebrows, so I kind of have to draw it in a lot on the side. After I fill in the bottom, I just do little sweeping motions um, in the direction that the hair naturally grows. After I do my brows, that's when I do my second coat of mascara. So this is one, I actually bought this by mistake. I thought it was the white mascara primer, that's what I thought I was buying, and I came home and saw that it wasn't, and I was kind of bummed, but then I used it, and I'm not bummed anymore because I think it's really good. It's the Urban Decay Perversion, bigger, blacker, and better. I do this one first for, to make them longer, and then I do this one to make them thicker. Look at the difference. Don't these look way longer than this? It's amazing. Love it. And then put on a little bit of blush. I use this Milani baked brush. Ooh, it's really dirty. <laughs> Sorry. In Luminoso. Um, it's really pretty. It's like pink and has it's like kind of has like gold shimmeries in it. Looks nice. I wear it every single day. Very last thing that I do always because I don't, I don't think it does anything for how your makeup looks. I just think it kind of feels good because sometimes, like when, especially when I do this, like oh god, we got it. But when I put powder on, I feel like it kind of makes my face feel dry and look kind of dry. So I always like um, doing a finishing spray at the end. And this is the Pixie Glow Mist. I just spray it like this, like a like a makeup guru. And that's pretty much it. Sometimes I do put on lipstick if I'm in the mood, but I'm kind of not today. So this is my go-to makeup. This is what I do on a regular day when I have class and I'm just running around. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you might have learned something or at least just enjoyed watching the video. Have a wonderful day. See you soon. Bye. Mwah.